everyone, Shy here, Wind Dance, down here at 2022 AWSI, second day, down here at the core booth. Just got done trying some gear, got off, tried a 17XR, and got some uh, twin tip action going on. Just got off this nice Nexus half an hour ago. Real fun, good kites, uh, good power, good clean turning. Didn't really crash them, didn't have a chance to relaunch, so I can tell you that. But yeah, they got the whole lineup here. And great day to get out on some larger kites and even some bigger wings. And look at what we got here. We got the new XC wing, bike four. Just got done also with a 5.0. Real nice wing. Had a chance to get on it, real balance. Had a nice, good punch right off the glide. I like the construction. Flip this thing over to you, a closer look at what it looks like. Got the extra light rigid Nikon, uh, just like the same kites that they have, using the same material. And yeah, that construction is super clean. Nice and tight canopy up front with this nice leading tension uh, seam. Really helps uh, upwind ability, uh, stability, and gusts. And, overall performance of the kite and then you get a little suspension in the back for easy use and give you a little bit of range anyways this guy's got the bars looks like they might be removable who knows if we get options with that and then uh, your dump takes which are standard core from the kites too so that's good to see also so yeah let's see what they got here for the boards oh yeah I forgot about the wing foil line up they got the roamer I think I was out on the big 90 and uh, this guy rips super smooth I think I was actually on the 15 Let's see which one I was on yeah the 1550 nice carbon front wing got aluminum mass fuselage carbon front stabilizer rear stabilizer just had a good good lift Good speed, stability. Felt really comfortable right off the bat. And then you got the core, Romer edge, nice and clean edge, beveled. Not too sharp, but good release. Nice and clean tail. Felt very stable out there, and it was easy to pump and get off the water and get that coil engaged. Really excited about this product for the upcoming season. And their list of boards here we got. Got the Fusion, the Choice, the Carve. Just got out on that guy. Fast, Poppy, and all the Sensor Pro bars. Yeah, these guys are killing it over here. Core team. All right, yeah, here's another good look at it. Look at that sucker. Nice, clean setup. Got the 90 CM mass of the 1250. Got the nice straps on there. Yeah, that's looking sharp. Got a little Gore-Tex vent plug. Got the nice corduroy vent. Or EVA pad, looks real nice. Like recessed deck, you can see. Give you that nice contact or low center gravity to the foil. Yeah, real nice setup. And this looks like it's called the Spectrum. Definitely a good combo, and excited to see the wing foil from Core happening. See how adjustable these guys are. Oh yeah, nice and easy, nice and clean. Sick. All right, where should we go next? All right, let's check out the old slingy booth. Their next one's over. Kind of migrate over through. It's kind of a maze of wings and kites and foils and boards. It just doesn't stop. And then, yeah, slung top. Got the UFO already launching right now. It's super light, so definitely tough conditions to get out on, but really showcases what this product can do. Man, just a little toss. Oh, yeah. Coax it up. 
just like a boomerang. <laughs> just coax that up. Oh, here's the punch. There it is. I think they're going to get it going now. Like checking out. We got the whole peanut gallery here. Oh, baby. We got some codes here. I'm really excited to see this kite. Got out on this later uh, this morning or earlier this morning. Really versatile, fun, fast, quick through the window kite. It's going to be one of kind of good for everything almost. Definitely uh, excited to have that in the shop also. And then yeah, the UFO has been rocking. Yeah, a little looper and into the foil. But you know, that's what you gotta do, try to get the kite up, so. Got the machine, V2. This is the light wind, a little more high aspect. Got the three strut. Actually, this is the 12. They do have the light wind version over here somewhere. Oh, there it is. This is the 15, so this one's kind of a little more high aspect from the other, which you can kind of see the different wing tips just looking at the 12 to the 15, definitely a different design. A little lower aspect, grunier 12 compared to a little higher aspect, 15. So yeah, this is going to be a fun snow kite, session saver, and you know, if you want to go big and boost big and ride over power, this could be the kite for you. We don't we don't have keep on cruising over here. Got all the new wings. From Slingshot. Got the new sling wing. Got the bar action going on. Real nice grip. Definitely got good purchase there. Feels good. Got the handle harnesses. Yeah. Got out on one of these this earlier this morning. It was on the five. Had a good amount of pump. A nice window and windowless version. I believe the green ones come windowless and then a blue one comes with the windows. And we also have another wing called the Javelin that actually comes with a, a boom. And this is pretty unique. Got this boom action and then you have this downhaul to allow you to tighten up the canopy to give you a little more high-end uh, range for the overall wing itself. So definitely hearing the boom's been good for overall control and just finding that area that you like. So we'll see how that goes. Seems like the hype's now and hype's real. So yeah, until we get it in the consumer's hands, we'll never know, but definitely flying well. Depending on what, where you are. All right, let's go over here. Yeah, here's another color, the red and orange with the boom. Still overall pretty light, even with the boom. They have a carbon version, 5.0. Got the sling wing, 4.5. Looking sharp there. It's the V3. Nice tight canopy, nice and loose in the back. It's gonna be kicking. In the middle of the desert and shit. So yep, got a great lineup of wings at the moment. So definitely gonna be seeing those at the shop. Let's cruise on over here to the boards. Got the new Wingcrafts V2 90 liter, 8 liter. A little more stability in these rails here, a little squattier. And we got a whole new lineup of the TASM series. We got the G800. We'll go through that here quickly. We'll, we'll see what these look like actually on the boards. We got the 92 Phantasm with the G900 with the 90 on 90. This is actually what I just got done riding with about half an hour ago for a little light wind wing session. Really fun, gotta enjoy it. One thing I do recommend on the bigger size wings, anything 5.0 and larger, uh, it's nice to have a harness. Just enjoy that less arm pump. But yeah, we got a great lineup here, 60 liter, 50 liter, 70 liter. Breakdown, like I think the camp that I was helping, it had like, it was Roger's camp. We'll cruise on over here. Got all the little travel shred sleds. Look at this little guy. It's about as big as my arm. So I guess this comes complete with the mass, fuselage, front wing. Comes in a nice little travel bag, and this is your little travel kite wing, kite ripper board. So definitely going to be fun to see that thing out on the streets. We also seen uh, something unique. 
Got the Dream Rider, but we also got the Misfit and Carbon. Probably one of Slingshot's longest running twin tips. And now there's actually a Carbon version. So look at that. Whew. It's looking hot. Cruise on over here. Check out some of the directional surfboards. There you go. What do we got here? A little new Sci-Fly XR V2. Yeah. A real nice quarter EVA. Nice and light. Got a little ridge there to grab onto. Feels nice and balanced. What else we got back here? We got the Impact XR. This looks like a little dagger. Oh yeah, look at that. Uh, now we're talking. So the dagger is looking great for some heavy surf, heavy wind. We got a nice 5-4. This would be great for the gorge. Nice some strapless airs. Hit the booters. Whew. Nice little rail. Yeah, 18. This is going to be a fun little ripper. Got some straps there just in case if you want to send it with straps. Radical. Alright, what else we got here? Oh, what's this? Spencer Pro? What? Look at that. Rad. Some other things back here. Shred sled. Wizard. Manicore. A little do it all board. Nice. 105. Sick. Alright. Let's go into the old main booth here. Looks like we got nice foils, got the new hover glide setups here, got the 85 quantum, 100 quantum, and then got the new Phantasm lineup, got the new G-Series, these look real nice this year, got a nice outline, fast, surfy, um, yeah, looks like they're good for tricking too, so... Let's check out what that all says. Yeah, wingspan 700, surface area is 900, aspect ratio is 5.4. Nice and stable, but looks super fast and rippable. Looks like you got the whole setup for all sizes and wind speeds. You got the 700, 800, 900, and 1000. And the surface areas break down 1355, 1263, 1173, and 900. So definitely got a few uh, front foils to pick from in that G series. And then we'll go over to the new PTM 825 and 3930. These are the two new sizes. That will carry on with the Phantasm PTM. A little some smaller this year. This 825 looks really feisty. Like the shop of that. Real nice and thin layout. Good span. High aspect wing right here. We got a ratio of PTM 930. Let's see what that's all about. Flip that over. All right, Slingshot Phantasm PTM 930, wingspan's 930, surface area is 950, and that aspect ratio is 9.10. Wow, this one's gonna be a, this one's gonna be a, definitely a rider favorite right here. Uh, gonna be fast, carvable, good upwind ability. Definitely gonna be stoked to get this in the shop. And then in the back of these new PTM series is we got the E series, Fantanum E. We got the 866, the E990, and the E1090. So these look like the bigger wings for light wind days. Uh, let's pull one out. Let's check it out. All right. Yeah, nice little deck. Got good lift area. Got an aspect ratio of 4.8. For surface area of 1550 and the wind span of 866. Yeah, nice clean outline, good good lift, good glide, good stability on these. Gonna be nice to have a new set of bigger wings for the Phantasm series. For light wind areas or heavy riders, this will be great. Sweet. All right, well that is the Phantasm lineup. We got all the masks down low too. We got the carbon, we got the massive 125 skyscraper. 
aluminum. Uh, yeah, I got the nice hardware here. This is great. So if you are traveling, you can just replace these uh, little barrel nuts and get back on the water again. You don't have to blow those out. Those are replaceable. So real nice. So. Anyways, we get going here, get rocking through, squeeze through the old slingshot booth, nice and easy. What else we got going on? Oh yeah, let's go check out if we're at the north booth here. Oh man, new Atmos. The Atmos 38, that's looking sharp. I love those graphics. I like the binding straps. I've always been a fan favorite at the shop, so good to see that's carrying over. Nice grab handle. Lots of good purchase. Looks like there's a few sizes going on here. We got the boots. Got the flare board on the bottom. Some wing foiling. New front poles. Got the comp. Got a few new boards here. What's this all about? There we go. Check that out. This is looking real nice. The cross 5-3. Got a little dual setup with tri or quad setup. Got a nice EVA stomp pad with a little bump up front to get those parts on. Yeah, that's a good shot. Get that back up in the lineup. Got another size in the back. That one looks like it's the 5.7. So we got the 5.7, 5.3, and then the comp uh, 4.10. Nice little freestyle surf setup. And ooh, what do we got here? Some new front wing foil, high aspect 850. So this is going to be a new front wing for the new sonar lineup. So definitely stoked to see a little more high aspect front wings in that program. This is looking super sharp. Dagger, lots of pump, lots of glide. Definitely good for high wind, high performance riding. Got another size here. Look at that. Got the Sonar HA950. Yep, that's going to be real nice for gliding down some river swell. Hey, Dave. Look, it's a showdown. It's the last one. Then we can go around here. We got the North Foil windsurf. Got a bunch of wings. Got the light wing. Haven't got to try this thing yet, but it's looking good. Got the new mode here. This is their new race wing. A new material. It's real nice here. Hopefully we get to try this later on this afternoon when the wind picks up. But yeah, they're rocking the bars. Definitely been a good feedback from what we've been hearing at the shop with just the control and the feel. And the overall just performance ups the ante with the bar. Definitely riders are liking that. So it's good to see North going. And we're, yeah, looks like we're just getting one out of the water right now. Wind has died down a bit. We're kind of just pump foiling at the moment and doing a little lunch break, but you never know, the wind can pick back up and the activities can get back going. So, good time to just kind of walk around and see what's happening. Got the new Code Zero. This is Norse one strut foil. Definitely a lot of these out on the water a little bit ago. Perfect conditions for kite foiling, although it's definitely a little lighter now. We got the Ocean Rodeo team here. Cruise around, see what they're doing. Got some cool things with the Lua technology. Some new boards here, the Mako. And yeah, getting out of Lua. These are some of the lightest wings on the market right now. That's seven. <laughs> Looking good. We got the flight. And what else? We got the rise. Definitely really nice kites. Cool to see this new technology coming out. 
really adds to the overall performance and durability of the kite. So be cool to see where this goes and what evolves into the wing market. Cruising on over to the next brand here. I think it's F1. Walk on over. Over through the huge pile of kites. It is crazy right now. Tons of brands, tons of stuff. Everyone's out talking it up. When the wind dies, that's when everybody starts talking. All right, over here at the F1 Monero booth, it's just releasing the 16th version of the Bandit. This thing is looking super sharp. Hopefully I can get on this later on this afternoon. This is definitely one of the top kites that I want to try this year. Uh, I just like the Delta C technology. I like to pull through the turns. I like good loops and I just like how a C flies. So the band, it really intrigues me and I'm really stoked to get on this new 16th version. Because when you're building the kite for 16 years, you know they know what they're doing. So anyways, get through the bandit here. Also had a trigger, new kite the trigger. I don't see that out here, but it's a new high end, uh, high aspect, big jumping kite from F1 called the trigger. Also got some new uh, F1 rocket sub boards. These are pretty cool. They come in various sizes. I think this one's the 6.2. No, it's a 6.4, so 6.4, 120 liter, nice little downwind rocket, definitely good for the gorge, definitely starting to see a lot more people doing the downwind boiling action, so it's good to see more products out there. Alright, we'll go check out the new F1 stuff, alright, we got the new rocket, 6.0, 5.3, this has been a hot seller at the shop. Definitely not stock enough of those rocket wings in. Come through here. See what they got going on with the front wing out of stuff. Got some smaller carbon rocket wings. Four fours. Whew. These are sharp. Look at those buddies. Got the new V strap. That's looking nice. Who's on over here? Check out the twin tip lineup. We've got the tracks, WTF, the one, the big one. We've got a few more little goodies in the back. Tracks, little pocket rockets, Alamito Pro Surf, directional, the magnet carbon. Definitely been a hot product at the shop. Any strapless free ride, freestyle, ocean airs, these boards are the ticket. Definitely liking the version. So this little deal pro flex, a little mint green. Man, that looks sharp. Loving it. Next to the nice carbon, meet the pro carbon. Got the 5.6. Looks real nice. Little pocket rocket. All the wings over here. This is ideally at the bar. Even if you could do a mask on it, that would some be nice halo harnesses. So um, good. Yeah, yeah. Got the seven C's. Eagle Phantom. Yeah. That racing lift. That's one that Charles is going. I mean, it might still be out there on the gym. gym yeah. kind of like. <laughs> Down some of the stuff here. Got the new Eagles. Got the F1 210 stabilizer specific to the Eagles, and then you have the fence. <laughs> Seven C's here. We got the 1200. 
got the new fence carbon. You can see the little stabilizer fence right in here. It kind of allows the flow a little more directed. And it kind of transfers over down to the front one here. So 1200, 85 carbon mass. This guy's going to be a beautiful glide, nice pumping, um, stability, and turning all in one. It looks like a really great one. Definitely excited to get on that here shortly. Some strikes. Definitely the hottest wing on the market for us right now. No changes for this year, so that's good to see. Everything that you know and love about the strike is here, just a little more refined, tighter canopy, lighter just floats effortlessly, uh, balanced in both ways. So really stoked on the Strike B2s this year. And we got a lot of them at the shop, so swing on by. So, Anyways, guys, this was just a little rundown on the brands that we have at the shop, and I just kind of wanted to slowly sneak through. So thanks for watching, and anytime, give us a ring at the shop or check out the website, winddance.com. Have a good one. Cheers.